Welcome to our review on testing water. Now, with the water that we generate for drinking, we do need to make sure that there are safe levels of certain chemicals. So what we did at the end of this topic was to have a look at a couple of reactions that tests for certain chemicals that could be dissolved in water. The first of these was looking for sulfate ions. Now, the way we do this experiment is to add a solution of barium chloride. So what happens there is if our sulfate ions are present, we make a white precipitate of barium sulfate. So the example reaction that we would see is if we had our sodium sulfate, for example, dissolved in water, we wouldn't see it. But if we add our barium chloride, what we then make is sodium chloride and barium sulfate. And we would see that barium sulfate as a white precipitate then in our tube. We do have the balance symbol equation at the bottom as well that we obviously need to be able to write out. And I've just changed the colours there to show you where the different chemicals come from. So we start off with our sodium sulfate, which is Na2SO4, and we add barium chloride BaCl2 to the actual mixture. They then react together, and what they form are two molecules of sodium chloride, NaCl, and one molecule of barium sulfate, BaSO4. The second chemical that we'll be testing for are the halides. And the way we actually test for halide ions is by using silver nitrate solution. So what we'll actually find then is the colour of the precipitate that we generate in the tube will be determined by which halogen is present. So if we get a white precipitate, as we can see in the far left picture of the three test tubes, then that tells us we have chloride ions. If we get a cream precipitate, like the middle one, then that is bromide ions. And finally, if we get that pale yellow precipitate, like the test tube on the right, then we have iodide ions. And again, we need to remember these three colours. Chloride ions are white, bromide ions are cream, and iodide ions are pale yellow precipitates. The word equation then for one of the example reactions is sodium chloride plus silver nitrate would make our sodium nitrate and silver chloride very easy to get that right because when they say we react a solution of silver nitrate with sodium chloride then all we need to do to get our products is just trade the first word of each of our chemicals so sodium chloride becomes silver chloride and silver nitrate becomes sodium nitrate then our symbol equation at the bottom there we again colored so that we can see where the different ions come from we've got our sodium chloride NaCl plus our silver nitrate, AgNO3, makes NaNO3, which is our sodium nitrate, and AgCl, our silver chloride. 